Now it's Forker near sideline, up top for Patterson. Tries to slide past DK Matsu, feeds it back for Leiden, three ball good in Central Connecticut. Gets on the scoreboard first, but he zips. This Callahan takes the feed, penetrates, slides past defenders, lays it up and lays it in. And we saw her do that a bunch against Mount St. Mary's. Likes that right side, and again, just head down. Taking the ball down that right side and no blue double side. It's Johnson, stripped away by Jones. She's back one on none. Jocelyn Jones has a trailer defensively. Jones will lay it in and she's headed to the free throw line. A poor decision by Morgan Johnson to hack Jones on her way to the rack. Morgan in, Johnson in pursuit. And that's just Jocelyn Jones being too strong. In front of the Blue Devils bench, it's E.K. Matsu off of the screen, pulls up right elbow. That'll spin in good. Robert Morris up. Patterson pulls up from 15 feet, bangs that oh, shot in good. good. It's enough to wait for Azebo to drift open, hit her, and Azebo made the shot. Good ball distribution by Central Connecticut Please leads to an open Andy, Andy Lydon on the high right side. Augustine heads away from the screen, now forces it far corner where Megan Smith catches, shoots, Please and bangs a three. Robert Morris up a dozen with under a minute to play. Good inside outside game there. Augustine driving down that right side, swings it to Patterson trapped. Now feeds it off for Barubi. Line in high right side. Splashes a three, and she has nine of the 11 Central Connecticut points. She'll bounce to the top of the key. Patterson cuts, then feeds it off. Barubi's jump shot is good. And a 5 0 run for Central Connecticut to start this second quarter, and the Colonial lead goes from lobs inside to Zebo. Mecca spins baseline, left hand up and in around Barubi. And Robert Lydon hands off for McCamus. Shot clock waning to two. And she'll teardrop one over the front of the iron. Pick up a foul, maybe get an and one opportunity, but shot much too short when she stops and turn around. Great pass by Hanukkah E.K. Matsu inside Mulray. Right to left. Baseline. Forker to Leiden. Three ball good for Leiden. That's her fourth tray of the game. And in. Megan Smith flow to her feet. And a quick timeout for Megan Smith, who I think got the wind knocked out of her when she went down to the floor there. Callahan penetrates, scoops around a defender, rattles around and falls in good. And the Colonials back up by double digits. Megan Callahan getting very, very comfortable driving the basketball. One of a spot up shooter early in the season, but now being able to take that ball to the rim. But Patterson runs it down, rifles it up top. Johnson for three. That'll net in good, and the Colonials lead is down to six. Colonials. Callahan runs the floor. No looks at near corner. Three ball. Smith bangs that tray. The Colonials are back up by nine. And converting at the other end. McCamus penetrates. Hits it off the square and in. Kay Matsu, she'll pull it back out smartly. Now it's Augustine. Three ball. Fins up. Robert Morris up by 13. Their largest lead of the game. it back for Megan Smith. Smith to Callahan. Callahan around the screen. All the way to the basket, off the glass. It'll rattle in good with a shot clock waning and a 14-point lead for Robert Morris. Patterson in. Runner up and in for Sydney High. High right near sideline. Augustine bounces to the top of the key. E.K. Matsu near high right. Three ball good. Three. Monica E.K. Matsu's tray is good. And I think the officials want to determine if that was a three or not. Emma McCamus had a question immediately for... Tried to go over top of bodies to tip the basketball. Kiana Patterson hits a three. Leiden. Leiden to Patterson. Patterson's three ball is good. And the Callahan. Callahan penetrates, pulls it back out. Pass intended for Augustine, stolen away by Hines. Hines back, one on none, lays it up, lays it in, and Central Connecticut is on a 12-0 run. Earlier today with her start, she set a program record for career starts. Megan Smith, second free throw, good. Pivotal in St. Francis, Brooklyn. That game will be starting right around 7.30, so an hour and 10 minutes from...